What's up guys and welcome back to another Pokemon Sun and Moon video and today we are going to be reviewing a few of the rumours slash leaks that came out a few months ago because of course we've had new information and new stuff released from the Pokemon company since that so we can see if that new information helps to validify some of those leaks and lead, you know, lead us to believe them a bit more. So focusing on two mainly, uh, I can't remember what they sort of they go by in the community but I'll list out all the things that leaks specified and then we'll go through what's true or you know what's been confirmed and what seems to be true and then other stuff that might have been disconfirmed or seems a bit iffy. So the first leak we have here specified that there will be a fire poison type, there's no gyms in the game, the main objective being to build a league, the star final evolution will be an archer, a wrestler and a siren, the diamonds in the logos cause Pokemon to change shape, that Rockruff arose to a werewolf, there will be Pokemon based on a Dolphin, a Snowman, a Sea Cucumber, a Mushroom and a Rugby Monkey. And there are areas called Districts containing Overlords. Finally, adding on that Marshadow has a very unique typing. So this leak, going top to bottom, Fire Poison type. This, act this leak actually was sent, you know, sent off to, uh, to I can't remember what, Poker Jungle I think it was, or Poker, yeah, I think it's Poker Jungle. Um, and they received this before Solanit was revealed, and of course Solanit was then revealed being a Fire Poison type, so that's true, I guess you could say. There will be no gyms. We pretty much know there's no gyms. We have the island trials instead with the trial captains and such. So they're switching out gyms and gym leaders with trials and trial captains in a way. So, uh, you know, I'm saying that there will be no gyms. So that's pretty much true. The main objective to be a league, we don't know. To, to build a league, we don't know quite yet. That could be a post game thing uh, or it can, yeah, cut up. Of course, no disconfirmation or confirmation. So who knows yet. The starter final evos will be an archer, a wrestler, and a siren. Now, of course, this hasn't been confirmed since we haven't seen the starter final evos, but I'm going to give this a yellow mark, as you can see, because, of course, we have the Chinese League with these um, you know, sort of model arts of the starter final evolutions, being, you know, an archer owl, a wrestler cat, and a siren seal. And, of course, archer wrestler siren fits in there, so I'm putting it yellow since those leaks do seem to be true, if you haven't heard of them before, basically because there's a drawing of Mallow inside the fire cat one, and Mallow was not revealed until well after these pictures came out. So it seems like those will be real. So this would, you know, if they were if, if they were revealed next week as these these were final evolutions, then of course this would be confirmed. So I'm giving it a yellow, but of course it's, not, it's it's tenuous. It's likely, but I'm not saying it's confirmed. The diamonds causing Pokemon to change shape, however, is a slightly weird thing um, because we haven't heard anything about that. The diamonds are used for Z moves only, and they're not used for anything else, as far as we know. And to add on that recently, Ash Greninja was revealed to be part of the game, but it has nothing to do with Z-moves at all. It is to do with the battle boost, I think it's called, uh, an ability basically. Nothing to do with Z-moves. We, we talked about possibly the Z-moves activating this form, similarly with Solgaleo and Lala, who have their Radiant Sun and Full Moon phases, which could possibly be activated when you end, when you use a Z-move, you enter this up, you know, upgraded phase, which we speculate it was the same sort of deal for Ash Greninja, but since that's an ability, not a, not a Z-move thing, then maybe... Maybe this is true, or we could of course see Radiant Sun and Full Moon phases for Solgaleo and Lunala respectively actually being activated by Zed Moves, and that might be what these, what the, the diamonds causing Pokemon to change shape is referencing to. Uh, we don't really know yet, so it's orange because it's sort of disconfirmed, but it does, it could still happen, I suppose. It doesn't seem likely, but it could still happen. Rockruff going to a werewolf as well. We know that's happening, at least with one of its forms, like Canrock in Pokemon Moon. It does evolve into a werewolf, so that is true, that's confirmed. The Dolphin, Snowman, Sea Cucumber, Mushroom, and Rugby Monkey Pokemon. Of course, we had the Sea Cucumber and Mushroom in Pukumuku and Morlal. And also, we had recently the Rugby Monkey revealed, i.e. Persimium. Not really a Rugby Monkey as such, but it is a Pokemon, a monkey based on football teams. And of course, it has this ball which looks a bit like a, rug a rugby ball, so it could easily be, be done there. And of course I expect really to see a dolphin or a snowman Pokemon coming out fairly soon, uh, or maybe in, in the full game at least. Then, penultimately we have the areas called districts containing overlords. Now this might be due to translation, but I believe it's referring to the totem battles basically, where you have the totem Pokemon or the overlords in the districts, i.e. possibly island trials or, you know, uh, areas where you can, you know, totem areas I suppose you could say. So it's a yellow because it's sort of confirmed, but it's not really because it doesn't sound that right. You could give it orange as well if you really wanted to since it doesn't sound too good, but it can fit in ways. 
And of course, Marshall has not even been revealed yet, so we can't say anything about that. So overall, this league looks to be pretty good. Um, of course, the only thing I've said that throws you off is the diamonds thing changing shape, because it does happen, so... I don't know what's going on there, but the rest of it is actually quite, you know, a sort of a good build-up. Fire Poison type, no gyms, which not many people would have thought to say in the first place. Uh, Werewolf, again, that's pretty much obvious for, for Rock Ruff generally, you could guess that easily. But then the Dolphin, Snowman, Sea Cucumber, Mushroom, and Rogue Monkey, they've got 3 out of 5 so far, so it wouldn't be too much of an extra stretch to actually see the Dolphin and the Snowman Pokemon turn up as well. So this leak seems pretty convincing, but of course, if you disagree with me, or if you agree with me, let me know down below in the comment section. But we shall then move on to the second league, and this is much of a, a much more big league. There's loads of extra information here, so we'll go through and then we'll go through again and see what you know, the confirmation is. First up, no gems again. Then there's also there's one more than one evolution for Rockruff, one including a werewolf. Young Goose's evolution is fat and hairy. Time works differently in each version. There are new forms for old Pokémon similar to Shadows or Womanam. Pokémon from the Virtual Console will have pre-Generation 6 typings or stats. The Stone Bracelet has nothing to do with Synchro Evolution. Ash Greninja is in the game, as is SS Ann, and there are slightly more new Pokémon than Generation 6. To add to that, we also have Luca, Cynthia, Blue, Zinnia, AZ, and Lance all appearing in the game, and that Furfru's Hack can be changed in a me. Then we have some old Pokémon getting new animations, as it was described again, translation might be a, a factor here. And then they were meant, they explicitly mentioned different new, new typings for these Pokémon. Butterfree, Rattata, Nido, as in New Kingdom New Green, Ninetales, Growlithe, Abra, and Doduo. Then we have the, the fact that the bank transfer is the only way to get alt forms. And there is a flying type bird whose appearance varies by island. Then we have the two stage cat Pokemon that are normal slash farmer's primary type, which can be affected by breeding. And then we have the snowman Pokemon, which is an ice ghost type. Finally, they also successfully, I guess, you know, guessed or declared Mimikyu and Beware's English names. They said that Mimikyu kept the Japanese name, which of course it did, just lost a, uh, a K, I think it was, or an M. Um, and then Beware, they didn't explicitly say it was going to be called Beware, but they did say in one post, Beware of you know, naming things, and then they said there was a hint to it, of course, Beware, Beware, etc. So, what's been confirmed and, and stuff here? No gems, pretty much the same as last time confirmed, we haven't got any gems, so that works out pretty well. More than one evolution for Rockruff, technically we have that because we have the two forms, so looking at it you would say, oh, it's got two different evolutions. And one, of course, is a werewolf. Young Goose's evolution, fat and hairy, yep, that was sort of the case with gumshoes, of course you could have guessed that though, but you know, keep going. Time worked differently in each version, which actually is the case, because we have the 12 hour split, Pokemon Moon is 12 hours ahead of Pokemon Sun, so I guess you could say that's pretty much confirmed, because time does work differently. So new forms of old Pokemon, similar to Shadows and Womadam, obviously Shadows and Womadam were regional, as are the Alola forms, so they've pretty much got that. Pokemon from which console will have pre-generation 6 typings or stats. This is a bit of an iffy one though, so pre-generation 6, i.e. generation 5. So if you've got a Clefairy from the virtual console, i.e. red, blue, green, yellow, it would be normal type, it wouldn't be a fairy type. This is an iffy thing, I think it's a translation thing again, as in they were saying they're pre-generation 7, so, you know, you're not, sorry, typings, or maybe typings, because of course, Alolan forms, you know, maybe talking about that sort of thing. And of course, stats as well, similar to the Alolan forms there. But it's a bit of an iffy one, hence why it's yellow. The Stone Bros that having enough to do with Synchro Evolution is again true, because it's do with Zed moves and nothing to do with Synchro, because that's not even a thing. And the fact that Ash Greninja is in the game, yes, we have that now. It's in the demo, it's in the game. Pretty much got that there. SSM we haven't heard anything about, so that's sort of post game, I'd imagine. Slightly more new Pokemon than Generation 6, of course, we won't notice until the game's release. And the other characters, you know, uh, old characters appearing again, we haven't heard anything about that again, so no disconfirmation or confirmation there. Furfurous Hacker being changed in a me. I've highlighted a me here because we have Pokemon Refresh, which is, you know, the updated version of Pokemon Ami. So technically there is the ability to have Furfurous Hacker being able to be changed in a me, but it's called a me. They mentioned that as a me. Maybe they didn't know it was called Refresh, who knows? Uh, but it's there, it's yellow, so it's possible, but we'll have to see. Then the some old Pokemon getting new animations. Now this is, I believe, a reference again to the regional forms, i.e. the new animations being like new models and such. Again, I think it's translation, I'm not too sure though. And the specific mention of these Pokemon we had, Butterfree, which is a bug psychic type, I think they mentioned. Rattata, they mentioned, was a dark type. Nidoking and Nidoqueen was poison fighting. Ninetales was a fairy type. Growlithe. Our, our Grav was water, Abra was fighting, and Dodo was fighting flying. Now, of course, Rattata and Ninetales both do have alone forms, however, 
they were slightly different to the type being mentioned. Of course, Nine Tails was Ice Fairy rather than just Pure Fairy, and Ratato was Normal Dark rather than just Pure Dark. So you could say, yes, okay, they got it correctly, but they didn't get the types right. So it's a bit of like, okay, maybe they just saw the, the two versions and picked up on the two typings and mentioned that, or it could have been just a lucky guess. Also, the fact that the other ones are sort of listed. Growlithe, we've seen Arcanine in the games, so it's not got different alone form, and Abra being a fighting type again is a bit iffy. So that's the only thing. I haven't obviously not disconfirmed at all, but it's a bit iffy. Then we have the bank transfer, the only way to get old forms. That's pretty much confirmed in my eyes. Uh, so imagine, you know, the only way you can get yourself a fire type Vulpix is to transfer it from the Generation 6 games because obviously in the Alola region you can only find ice type Vulpix. So maybe there'll be a trade or two, but generally the only way to get the old forms is to transfer from Generation 6 and possibly breed, who knows. The fire type bird on each island, of course, is Oricorio. So yeah, I guess you could say that, that you know, that's all good there. And then the two stage cat Pokemon. Heard nothing about so far, as well as the Snowman Pokemon, but the Snowman Pokemon I guess you could link to the last leak as well, because that did mention a Snowman Pokemon, so maybe it's just piggybacking on the end of that, but we don't know too much. And finally, the Mimikyu Japanese name and the Beware English name, both got those, obviously both correct. This is before they were revealed in English, so I guess you could say that's done there. So, again, similar to the last leak, this looks pretty good, but the the, the animation stuff does throw me off. It does make me think, maybe this is, maybe this is really just fake and they've got loads of lucky guesses. Because, you know, the new animations, the typings for Rattata and Ninetales, they didn't get right quite, you know, fully. And the fact that Growlithe apparently is going to be a water type, Abra is going to be a fighting type. Yes, I could see it happening, but I don't think it's very likely. So this leak is a bit more of a <laughs> one for me. I'm not too sure I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to commit myself to it. But do let me know what you think down below, because, of course, it's a very interesting topic. Are the, have the recent reveals for Ash Greninja, for example, made you think this second leak is more likely or less likely or something like that? Let me know down below about what you think about these two leaks, because of course they are the sort of the most accurate from what we've seen so far. But this is going to be it for you for today, so if you enjoyed the video, be sure to hit the like button. I'll be seeing you next time. Thank you for watching. Goodbye, my friends.